Okay, so at the end of the last class, we had developed uh, the weak form of a model problem. And the result was something like this. And we had talked about uh, the, weighted the different uh, weighted integral methods or the way that we choose uh, this guy uh, results in different types of uh, systems, Galerkin or petrov galerkin or otherwise. And we had said of, of only the weighted residual resulted in symmetric uh, coefficient matrices but also the weak form did as well, and uh, we had sort of introduced the Ritz method. So that's what we're going to talk about here. But I just wanted to real briefly uh, introduce the bilinear form. So the weak form. will contain two types of expressions. Those involving del u and u, and those involving only del u. And so if we group them according to that, those involving del u and u those involving only del u we can write the problem like this or the problem can be stated as find u such that this is true. And this is known as the variational problem. The functional B is said to be bilinear if it's linear in each of its arguments. So that means
this is true, that means it's linear in the first argument. And that would mean it's linear in the second argument. And we already talked about the, you know, the condition for symmetric, symmetric in its arguments, but that's pretty obvious that this is true. So if B is bilinear and symmetric and L is linear we have this Sorry, should be a Dell there. So if the functions are linear, we can pull out the Dell operator. And so for our problem that we've been working with, our model problem, factoring out the one-half constant. And we have this. So finally, we'll rewrite our problem, our variational problem statement. I'm just going to move everything to the left side. And we're going to define then a quadratic functional, or rather, let's, let's write it down. So pulling out the del operator, we have And we're going to define this as a function i, del i, of u, that we know has a stationary value at 0. So we can, re we can restate the variational problem. as a minimization problem that is a stationary value
So the variational problem is one that minimizes this function.